Hello friends, Lloyd Hlitschka here with another uh, video on another piece of vintage audio uh, component. Um, this one is on an old amplifier from 19, well, the furthest ad that I found in Electronics Magazine, that's the name of the magazine by the way, was, I don't remember the month, but I remember it, it was in 1953. I do have the Electronic Magazine ads too, but I got them filed away in another cabinet where I don't have access to, to showing them, but I do got an ad from, actually it's a new product, so although by this time it was already almost, it was two years old, but in the May 1955 audio, uh, May 1955 issue of Audio Magazine, I have under the new products, it shows the Kronheit UF 101, yeah, UF 101 power amplifier. I'll hold it up right here. It's on the bottom. Probably not the clearest, but I'll have it in the video that's going to be following this. I'm just giving a brief overview, but this amplifier was very amazing for an early 50s tube amplifier design. Of course, it is, a, it is a mono power amplifier, which now would be referred to as a mono block because it's just one channel. But what's really amazing, and I'm not sure how they were able to measure the distortion um, so low back at that time when, if I remember reading right, that the majority of the distortion analyzers back then could not accurately measure below 0.1% harmonic or intermodulation distortions. But this amplifier is rated at, it shows total intermodulation and harmonic distortion is less than 0.005% at the 50 watt rated uh, output. Because it, it's, the amplifier is rated at 50 watts, and I think it is 50 watts continuous. So they don't show it here, but I think I remember reading that in the other ads. Uh, frequency response is also very amazing on this amplifier. It, o it shows that it only varies uh, one half of a decibel between the frequency range of one half hertz to 30,000 uh, hertz. Or it also back then they also they used the cycles per second instead of the hertz measurement. So it was in here it shows 0.5 uh, CPS to 30, you know, uh, thousand CPS. So it's an exceptional, good, wide, flat range. Um, hum and noise, the signal to noise ratio is rated at 110 dB below full output. So very good, very low noise figure on this amplifier. Very amazing, even on a design of today. Um, but I'm gonna have that in the, I'll just have a photo scan of this. And I'm also going to have an audio frequency sweep. It's, I got a, it's, I think it's kind of neat because it's a good way of listening for resonance in your audio equipment, especially in speakers in the cabinets or cones. The sweep goes from 20 hertz to 20k to 20,000 hertz. And it is recorded at full 0 dB digital recording level so watch your speakers and your you know watch your volume control so you don't overload the speakers or you possibly damage them so keep your volume low during the sweep and gradually raise it at the level that you know that you want to hear it at while you're doing your sweep I mean, while you're playing the sweep the only thing is I'm sure on YouTube that it's not gonna reproduce all the way up to 20,000 Hertz because it does get compressed in the transformation to onto YouTube and it'll probably get cut off somewhere like at oh, 14 maybe 12 13 14 15,000 cycles per second which you know I have no control on how they how they uh, re you know what's the word am I looking for how they uh, change the audio format you know they convert it how they convert the audio format from what I'm uploading it at to what it finally gets saved at on their on their system so 
I'm just at the we're you know I'm at the mercy of that. So, but otherwise, it should still reproduce the majority of it. In the low frequencies, I'm sure that would be no problem. So, but just wanted to let you know to keep the volume low when you're playing the sweep. And I'm gonna have a photo of this of the Krone Height UF 101 amplifier uh, during the sweep, so you can also read the specifications on this. You know, while you're listening to the sweep, or you know, if you want to just read the amp specs. The sweep has nothing to do with the amplifier. I just kind of wanted to combine two and one. You know, another vintage, um, what I thought was very ahead of its time amplifier design, along with a tone sweep that I think can be very useful for uh, evaluating your own speaker systems and amplifier performance. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get the sweep started and and the the video, the picture of the amp flyer to go along with it. So I hope you find it a little, in, I, hope, I hope you find it interesting. So we'll see you on the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.